Coming up, public service workers walk off the job. A car ends up on a garage roof, and did she say yes? And Neil Warman's marriage proposal proves an online sensation. This is Win News. Tonight, a multi-million dollar car park proposal divides the Shoalhaven. A century of training the Navy's finest celebrated at HMAS Creswell. And is this the world's best marriage proposal? An Illawarra man goes all out to woo his bride. Good evening, I'm Karen Johnston. I'm Jeff Phillips. Also tonight, a car almost ends up on a garage roof in the Wollongong CBD. And the program helping young mums complete their HSC. For years, residents in Nowra have been crying out for more parking in the CBD. Shoalhaven Council has lodged a development application for a new multi-million dollar five-storey car park, but in an extraordinary move, the Shoalhaven Mayor says she doesn't support it. Coming up on Win News, a warning for horse owners. And we catch up with the couple behind possibly the best marriage proposal ever. Welcome back. A 23-year-old Mount Kira man has gone to extraordinary lengths to propose to his girlfriend, making a romantic video clip, renting out a Shell Harbour cinema and gathering dozens of their closest friends and family to witness the event. Within hours of posting the romantic proposal online, it went viral. Sport is next with Amy and the good news is we're heading to a Game 3 origin decider. You bet we are, Jeff. A Josh Dugan try sealing the series, a levelling victory for New South Wales at the MCG and Sally Fitzgibbons back on the South Coast shores and slowly recovering from a perforated eardrum. This sports report brought to you by Nimble. Smart little loans. Nimble it and move on at nimble.com.au. In sport, after a heroic finish to the first half of the World Surf League season, Sally Fitzgibbons has returned home to rest and recuperate. The current world number three is recovering from a perforated eardrum suffered in Fiji, but says she will surf on in her quest for that elusive world title. And that is our sport, and I am still smiling after last night. Of course you are. You'll be <laughs> smiling for the next three weeks. Weather is next, then the snow report. This weather report brought to you by Bunnings Warehouse, where the lowest prices are just the beginning. Another cold, drizzly day across the region today as we have a look at the satellite. Thick cloud covering the southern and eastern parts of the state with the low pressure trough is causing areas of rain heaviest about the Riverina and on the south coast. Skies are clearer over the far west under a weak ridge of high pressure. To the synoptic chart, a low and trough will move north over the Tasman Sea while brisk southerlies generate showers to coastal South Australia, Tasmania, Victoria and New South Wales. Cold air will move over the southeast, bringing a cold day and night. Temperature-wise today, well, it was a winter's day. Wollongong 16, just 9 in Barrel. Nowra 14, 16 in Aladulla. Batemans Bay 14, Maria 15, 16 degrees in Naruma. Bigger 15, the same for Marimbula, Eden 6 to 13. The forecast for the Illawarra on the Highlands, a cloudy Friday with a high chance of showers, most likely in the morning. Southerly winds up to 30 kilometres an hour. For the south coast, cloudy with a 60% chance of showers, most likely in the morning. Patchy morning fog in the north, wind southwesterly to 25 kilometres an hour. Seas are running at 2 to 3 metres on a 2.5 to 3 metre swell. The first tide tomorrow is low at 4.20. The high rolls in at 20 past 10. Eden, 13 degrees, 14 for Marimbula and Bega, 14 also for Naruma, Maria and Batemans Bay, Ulladulla and Nara 14, 3 to 10 degrees in the highlands, Wollongong 10 to 15. Looking further ahead, scattered showers on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Now with the snow report, here's Lauren Tomasi. Hello from Threadbow. Well, the temperatures are dropping down and we have seen snow start to fall across the upper mountain. It's been a fun day out on the slopes with conditions allowing plenty for all types of riders. From the long runs of high noon for the more skilled riding to the easy slopes of Friday flat for the little ones, there is definitely something on offer for all levels of riding. As always in Threadbow, the fun does not stop on the mountain with lots going on in the village too. Now eight lifts are in full swing to get you around the mountain, including the Kosciuszko Express, which is open right to the top for sightseeing. For those looking for another option to the slopes, the Snowplay Park is open for the family. It's perfect to get in some smooth tubing and tobogganing before hitting the bigger slopes. 
Well, we're looking forward to a good weekend with the clouds set to clear and the cold temperatures are looking to set in, which is great news for the snowmaking teams. Well, with the snow set to fall into tomorrow, it's looking like a good weekend ahead. Grab the beanies and I'll see you on the slopes. In Threadbow, this is Lauren Tamazi, Win News. And that is Win News for Thursday the 18th of June. To view some of our reports, visit the Win News Illawarra Facebook page. Join us for the All Australian News at Midnight and again tomorrow for the best 90 minutes of news from 6. Good night. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation from Win, Australia's number one regional television network.